What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel where we give you all the credit intel you need to grow your wallet. Today, what we're going to cover is the best secured credit cards that actually graduate. So this is updated for 2022, fresh data in your face. Let's dive into it. Uh, okay, so um, just spent a sizable amount of time updating this and getting it all you know, consolidated and, and put together for you guys because I think it's really, really important. So this page, this uh, best credit cards for bad credit page is completely transforming. I'm excited, I want it to be better because before I think it was kind of meh. So uh, you know that we're always constantly uh, refining every page that we create, every guide that we make, just because we wanna make sure that we're constantly consolidating fresh brand new data to uh, give you guys the, you know, the most amount in one place, right? Just kind of makes sense that way. So anyways, best secured cards that actually graduate. This is something I'm constantly hearing now. I want to just note that I did not go uh, scrounging and, you know, uh, looking through every single credit union to see which ones actually graduated and which ones didn't. I actually pulled from the list of cards that I knew did and one credit union, which I personally use, which is Navy Fed. Now I know others do. The only issue is, is like, for example, last year, there were two credit unions that we talked about in review videos that then stopped doing graduating cards and they'll just do that. And so, there's uh, over 40,000 credit unions in the United States. I don't want to update that list. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't want to deal with that. So anyways, we're going to go with the major players and then, you know, Navy Fed, which is a credit union. So we've got on this list, uh, Discover IT, just in case you want to add a buckshot or you can go to this page. Discover IT Secured Card, Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards, Bank of America Unlimited Cash Rewards, uh, and Bank AmeriCard Secured. Capital One Platinum Secured Card, uh, City Secured MasterCard, and of course the Navy Fed, uh, and rewards. Lastly, Sable Credit Card. You probably didn't know about that one, Sable Secured Credit Card. So now let's go back up to the top here and go one by one. So uh, you can deposit $200 to $2,500 on Discover, 22.99% uh, uh, APR. Let me explain these little um, abbreviations as well. They'll be underneath the, the table also. Uh, 22.99, that's the APR. 10.99% BT is balance transfer for six months, and then it goes up. 24.99% uh, CA is uh, cash advance, and AF is annual fee. So to condense all this together, we just kind of uh, bunched all that together, like annual fees and APRs, right? And then if there was a any additional fees, like a foreign transaction fee or something, it'd be on there. But I believe that's zero on that card. Okay, cash back. This will get 2% at gas stations. Um, uh, restos, uh, restaurants, and uh, up to $1,000 each quarter, 1% on all other purchases, 2x cash back, match unlimited dollar for dollar for your first year. Uh, no late fees uh, on the first one and up to $40 after that. So graduation is in seven months. And so uh, hard pull, yes, Experian, here's some data points. I don't, I don't wanna go through all this, but you can check this out for yourself. And then uh, we've got just like stuff that's kind of hard to find, right? Like the full breakdown of terms and um, rewards and, and all the different specifics of the program. Pre-qualification page here. It also gives you access to free FICO. Bank of America customized cash rewards. I actually didn't know that they rolled out three new secured cards. Kind of weird, but okay. Um, these three, let's just cover these all at once. So these three, there's no official timeline, meaning on the website it says some people can graduate, but not everyone's guaranteed to. From what we've been hearing, it's 12 months. Yes, hard pull, uh, Equifax or TransUnion. They're all $300 to $4,900 uh, that you can deposit in. 23.99% variable, 22.99% variable here. This is kind of like their introductory card. And then they've got the, uh, they've got the two kind of cash back cards, right? And this one's got no cash back. Uh, same on the lay fees, you can read all that. Uh, okay, talked about graduation times, and then here's a bunch of links and resources for you. We don't have any data points there, so if you wanna give data points on those secured, Bank of America secured cards, that'd be great, comment below. Okay, next, Capital One, Platinum. Good thing about this, this is a kind of a weird one. So, after you do pre-qualification, which the pre-qualification page now will pre-qual you for like, I think six different cards. There's the Savior, the Platinum, uh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver 1, where are we at, 5, Platinum? I don't know, 5, 6, something like that, quite a few cards. And with the Secured, which they'll also pre-call you for, you'll get approved to either deposit 
$49.99 or $200 and that gets you $200. So you might have to um, actually uh, deposit $200 or just $50 and get the $200. Make sense? Max credit line that you can get up to is $1,000 because you can just deposit more. 26.99 variable, which is awful. And yes, it'll pull all three bureaus to get approved for that. I still think this is one of the worst cards to get. Uh, it does graduate and it graduates into the Platinum Unsecured after uh, six months. So six months of online payments, or on time payments rather, and it'll graduate you. And so <clears throat> what's great about that is then you graduate into a regular Platinum, right? I, I, I know some of you are already thinking this, and then you can use our little sneaky peeky uh, backdoor upgrade link, which is on the Capital One um, definitive guide page. And that could get you into a Quicksilver or a Savior One or one of these other cards uh, really, really quickly. So I, I don't know if that's going to like stop you from getting, you know, sandboxed or, you know, bucketed. But I know that you could you could move yourself through the cards pretty quickly if you wanted to do this. And and I would be saying that's you should be doing it at minimum if you're going to get hit with, uh, you know, all three bureaus pulling. Ugh. OK, City MasterCard, two hundred and twenty five hundred. Uh, will graduate somewhere between 12 to 18 months, different uh, from what we heard. Again, here's some stuff for you to look at. Resources here, just quick links to make it all easy for you. Uh, yes, hard pull, Equifax, or TransUnion. Here's all your APR data. So again, I just wanted to put all this here so that you could compare it, like all the way down to foreign transaction fees, annual fees, all the stuff that we usually don't mention in tables and, and data breakdowns like this, but I think for this, like because there's so few actually good graduating cards like this, we can add all that data in and you can get a really good bird's eye view, right? All right, uh, Navy Fed is next, $200 minimum, could not find a max for the life of me. 18% APR, zero um, annual fee, zero on cash advance, zero balance transfer, and zero foreign transaction fee. That's really, really good. 1x points per dollar, no cap, um, and three to six months. So here's the deal with that. There's a bunch of notes underneath, by the way, in case you need them. Here's the deal with that. After three months of having your card and using it responsibly, you'll be eligible for an upgrade. If you qualify, we'll provide you with an additional credit, uh, with additional credit to allow for spending beyond your deposit. Then at six months, we'll automatically review your account to see if you're eligible to have your hold removed and to be upgraded to cash rewards credit card. So I put three to six months, six months. Okay, a uh, bunch of information there. You just, you get all kinds of perks. You get cell phone protection, rental car protection, or rental car coverage, uh, zero fraud liability. is just about on all these, I think. And then lastly, Sable secured. $10 minimum, which is extremely low to 10,000. Prime plus 699%. You get 2% on um, Amazon, Spotify, Netflix, Uber, Uber Eats, Hulu, Whole Foods. 1% unlimited on everything else. 2X cash back, uh, dollar for dollar, first 12 months. Four months with some milestones. They don't say the milestones. They basically got like this um, credit teaching component. And I think you have to like go through there and, and probably make a certain amount of payments, spend a certain amount of money uh, money on the uh, card in the first four months to, to qualify for um, upgrading, right? Into, um, into unsecured. And then the only difference here is that I think this is the only card, yeah, the only card here, because it's kind of a fintech, that doesn't pull credit. So, again, if like if you really want to minimize credit hits, then yes. And this is really framed towards people who are brand new to the US or just getting their, you know, their, their passport for the first time or going through becoming a resident. Uh, this is really who this is catered towards. But again, no, no sense in you, you know, you can use it as well. So, um, no shame there if you want to. All right, uh, yeah, no credit history required. Same thing, fraud liability, et cetera, et cetera. Tons of notes underneath that for additional information. And then, yeah, we just break down the worst credit cards underneath that. So um, there you go. Like expect this, this page to change a little bit, but I wanted to start off 2022 correct by giving you, what is this, nine? Eight. So eight secured credit cards that will graduate in somewhere between uh, let's call it uh, six to 18 months. Pretty cool, right? Comment below if you've got data points on these cards uh, or if you just want to comment for the algos, like it. It'll get this in front of more people, get more people starting to get notified, blah, blah, blah. You know the whole game. Subscribe if you're brand new here and you like this sort of content and then hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future uploads. 
Be on the lookout, more videos coming soon. See ya.